In this video, we're gonna show you how to live stream with a green screen using AI generated background images. This is a great setup if you don't have access to a whole video set or an attractive background, and adding the AI element to it really allows you to get creative with different backdrops. Okay, so let's start by creating our background in Midjourney which is an AI generated system that allows me to be really descriptive and type in whatever I want and it'll pop up images for me. Creating your images all happens in Discord and there are free and paid plans. Now this does take a little bit of time to get right and a little bit of practice to learn how to be descriptive to get what you want. So get comfortable, spend a little time with it and learn how to give the program parameters. Okay, so in Discord, I'm going to type the slash imagine prompt and let's come up with a few ideas for the sake of variety. Let's do a wood background, a coffee shop scene, and something like an open studio space. Now the key is after entering your description to specify the aspect ratio you want the image to be by typing in this command so that you get the proper dimensions for video. Okay, and I'll let it render for a few moments and we'll see what we get. Okay, so here are the options I got for each. Now I'm just gonna take the image and pull it into Photoshop so I can add a little bit of blur and noise to it so that it looks like a realistic blurred out background. And if you don't have Photoshop, you can do this in a free program like Canva very easily. So once I export the file, I can open up my ATEM software and pull it into the media player by clicking and dragging. Okay, so now that we've generated an AI background, let me show you how we set up the green screen space. We're using, for this particular green screen, an Elgato green screen, and we really like it because it's super easy just to collapse, and it's portable, and pull back up. Now, ideally, you'd want something wider, but if you need something that's more portable, this is a perfect solution. But in our software, we're gonna be able to crop out the sides so that you don't actually have to make the green screen full bleed. So to make sure that the green screen background is evenly lit, I've got these two lights over here pointed directly at it. And then I've got this light on the ground just to give it a little more brightness so that it feels like it's evenly lit all around. There are a ton of great tutorials on how to properly light a green screen in the description, but the key thing to know is just make sure that your green screen is evenly lit. And for the rest of lighting our subject, we can't really do that properly yet until we actually put them in with the background and then we'll make lighting adjustments at the end. But the key thing to note is we have our main camera here, our EOS R, and what it's doing is it's outputting an HDMI feed into our video switcher. And that's where we're gonna monitor and be able to do the chroma key and make adjustments. Okay, so I've got my background images edited. I've got my green screen evenly lit and I've got my subject in place. So now what I'm gonna do is to show you how to actually remove the green screen background in our ATEM switcher. And also, if you don't have a video switcher, you can do this using a free program called OBS. All you need is a camera and a capture card. We have a tutorial in the description on how to remove a green screen background using OBS. Check it out below. Okay, so I've opened up my ATEM software. I'm gonna go over to my media pool and I'm gonna drag my background images into the media pool. And I'm specifically thinking that the studio and the coffee shop background are gonna look the best. Now, to actually apply this effect in the ATEM software, you're gonna go over to palettes, you're gonna click on upstream key one, go to chroma, and then make sure that your fill source is the camera input that you wanna actually remove the background for. And also you can sample which part of the frame that you actually want to select as what's gonna be keyed out. So you can see in um, our camera input, uh, we actually don't have the full frame filled with green. So we'll do somewhere around here. From there, all you have to do to actually preview your chroma key is click key one and then select in your preview your background. So this is the studio. I like the way the studio looks. I think that's pretty good and we can make some small adjustments to it, but I think that's gonna be our best bet. And from there, if you don't exactly have your settings to exactly how you want, in the upstream key or settings, you can change some foreground settings and some background settings to get it to look exactly right. Also, I did this ahead of time, but I'll show you, I have a mask here so I can 
actually go ahead on the left and right sides of the screen, and this is why I'm cropping in so that those don't show in the chroma key. So now to actually take the chroma key live, all I have to do is put my media player in program and then hit on air on key one. And there we have it. It looks pretty good, but we can make some small adjustments to make this look a little more realistic. Okay, so we'll see in the background, the virtual background that my subject actually has a light source coming in this way. So he should be backlit a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take a light here and kind of hide it. And I'm going to make sure that it kind of hits his shoulder a little bit. So it looks like there's some natural light coming in. Is that too aggressive? That's probably a little bit too aggressive. Okay, so that's our setup. We're pretty happy with how this looks for our first stab at it. So now we're ready to go live. The best thing about the A10 Mini Extreme and the A10 Mini Switcher models is you can stream directly from them. We have a quick tutorial in the description below that will show you how to stream directly from your A10 Mini to BoxCast. Check that out. Please let us know in the comments what kind of backgrounds you're creating, what kind of experience you're having, and if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.